Each year, the daytime world suffers the loss of several soap opera stars whom we have known from various soap operas. This year too, we have lost some big stars. In this video, we will be remembering all of them along with the beautiful career they've left behind for the fans to cherish. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. John Riley was a renowned soap star who played the role of Sean Donnelly on General Hospital. He was a series regular on the soap for more than a decade before he exited in 1995. Later in 2013, he made a brief guest appearance. Although Sean Donnelly on General Hospital remains his most popular work, his first daytime role was Dan Stewart on As the World Turns. John passed away on January 9 this year at the age of 86. He is survived by his wife Liz, three daughters and two grandchildren. Peter Mark Richmond was a veteran television actor who appeared in more than 130 television shows and about 30 films throughout his lifetime. Peter died on January 14th at the age of 93 in Woodland Hills, California. He died of natural causes. He is survived by his wife, actress Helen Richmond, and their five children. Lucas Richmond, a composer and Grammy-winning conductor, is one of Peter's children. Christopher Pennock was another veteran television actor, best known for his run on Dark Shadows in which he had played multiple roles in various timelines. He made his daytime debut in the mid-60s on Days of Our Lives and went to appear in various other daytime shows like The Young and the Restless, General Hospital, and Guiding Light. Sadly, the actor passed away on February 12th at the age of 76. Broadway World reported that he was in the hospital for several days before he passed away. In 1963, Geoffrey Scott made his daytime debut as David McAllister on General Hospital. From there, he went on to work on various daytime shows including Dark Shadows where he was also heard as the opening voiceover. Then in the early 90s, he appeared in Guiding Light to fill in for Jordan Clark in the role of Billy Lewis II. Scott passed away on February 23rd. His wife, Sherry Catherine, told The Hollywood Reporter that he passed away just a little after midnight, the day after his 79th birthday in Broomsfield, Colorado. He was suffering from Parkinson's disease. Born as John Beach Rogers Jr., actor Jill Rogers is popular among soap fans as one of the most notorious villains. Ray Gardner on All My Children and Hawk Shane on Guiding Light are a couple of his most popular acting gigs. Jill Rogers died on March 2nd at the age of 87. He died in his sleep at his daughter Amanda Rogers' residence. One Life to Live alum Jessica Walter passed away on March 24th at her residence in Manhattan. The vet star was 80 years old at the time of her death. Jessica was actively working in the industry until the last days of her life contributing as one of the lead voice artists on Archer. She voiced Mallory Archer, one of the main characters. The FXX animated series season 12 came to an end on October 7th with an emotional finale paying tribute to Jessica Walter. Her character Mallory had a brief appearance where she is seen swooping in to save her son Sterling from the kidnappers. After she and her team win the mission, she disappears leaving behind a letter for Sterling. In the end, Mallory is seen sitting beside Ron Cadillac, the character who was voiced by her husband, Ron Leibman, who passed away in 2019. Robert Roden was a multi-talented artist best known for appearing in the role of Monster Adam on Dark Shadows. It was the first time Robert had played a role on any TV show. As Adam, he appeared in just 82 episodes, but the impact he made remains fresh. Most of you may not know this, but Dark Shadows is the only TV series he had ever worked in although he had appeared in a 1969 feature called The Minx and in a television commercial for Cheer Detergent. Before joining the acting industry, he served in the United States Army and chose to work in the real estate sector after leaving acting. He was also an avid sculptor, painter, swimmer, and sailor. Roden passed away on March 25th at his Oregon home due to heart failure. He was 83 at the time of his death. Billy Hayes was best known for playing the role of Agent Brighton O'Reilly on General Hospital. 
She retired from acting in 2016. Sadly, on April 29th, she passed away of natural causes. Reportedly, she had been in declining health for the past year. She died at Cedar Sinai Medical Center, Los Angeles. Robert Hogan was a beloved soap star best known for appearing on soap operas like General Hostel and Another World. He also appeared on other soaps like Days of Our Lives, All My Children, One Life to Live, and As the World Turns. Besides, he has appeared in more than 100 primetime series. Hogan was diagnosed with vascular Alzheimer's in 2013. Nevertheless, he was determined to successfully live with his illness. A prolific actor and fighter, Hogan died on May 27 at his home on the coast of Maine. He was 87 years old and had died from complications of pneumonia. In the early 70s, John Gabriel appeared on two famous soaps, namely Love of Life and General Hospital. Then in 1975, he landed the role of Dr. Seneca Bulak on Ryan's Hope, which went on to become the most famous role of his entire career. The veteran star died on June 13th at the age of 90. He is survived by his wife Sandra, who is an actress, and two children, Melissa and Andrea, who is also an actress. Ray McDonald rose to prominence in the early 70s after taking on the role of Dr. Joe Martin on All My Children, a role he remained on for 40 years. He died on June 10th at the age of 93 from natural causes. Stuart Damon appeared in General Hospital for 30 years in the role of Dr. Alan Quartermain. Once in 2010, he appeared in the role of Governor Jim Ford in Days of Our Lives as well. The actor passed away on June 29th at the age of 84 following a struggle with kidney failure. He had been living at the Motion Picture and Television Fund retirement community in Los Angeles for the past seven years. Phyllis Sampler was popular among fans for her role as Donna Love Hudson on Another World and as Renee Dumonde on Days of Our Lives. Besides, she had an extensive career with about 200 credits under her belt. On July 1st, Sampler's friend Peggy Webb, a USA Today best-selling author, confirmed her death on Twitter. She was 67 years old at the time of her death and was just 15 days shy of her 68th birthday. She had died from a heart attack. Jay Pickett, a veteran soap star who had appeared in daytime gigs like Days of Our Lives, Port Charles, and General Hospital, passed away in a very tragic incident this year. On July 30, he was on the set of the film Treasure Valley, located near Idaho, when he unexpectedly passed away. As reported by his friend and fellow actor Jim Heffel, he was sitting on a horse ready to rope a steer when the incident took place. Jay was 60 years old at the time of his death. He is survived by his wife Elena Bates and their three children. Mickey Grant was an iconic soap star who was renowned not just for her acting gigs but for the record she held in the industry. Grant played the role of Peggy Nolan in Another World, a role that was reformed just so that Grant would fit in. Eventually, she went on to sign a contract with the soap, becoming the first ever black star to hold the contract soap role. The legend passed away on August 21st this year at the age of 92. Soap fans will know Michael Nader for playing the role of Dimitri, the husband of Erica Kane on the ABC soap All My Children. Besides, he is also renowned for appearing in the role of Dex Dexter on Dynasty and Kevin Thompson on As the World Turns. Nader passed away on August 23rd at his home only 10 days after being diagnosed with an untreatable form of cancer. He was 76 years old at the time of his death. Michael Tyler was a veteran soap actor who has graced the canvas of various soap operas including The Bold and the Beautiful, Another World, General Hospital, All My Children, The Young and the Restless, and Guiding Light. Among all, he was best known for his works on the latter two soaps. He played the role of Quint Chamberlain on Guiding Light. Meanwhile, he pulled off double duty playing twins Blade and Rick on The Young and the Restless. He passed away on September 28, aged 72. He is survived by his wife, Rachel, and four daughters. Thank you for checking this video out. 
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.